The landscape of whatever planet this is, is fraught with danger in the form of many enemies which don't take too kindly to us despoiling their environment. Now, in order to fight them off and take the resources that we need for our cool little things such as this explorer, I've been having to use this, the Xeno Basher, which is a great improvement over the Taser, which came before it, but it's still a hand-to-hand -hand weapon, and some of the larger enemies, especially those gigantic spitters which are shooting the orange or blue toxic goo at us, are having the advantage by being able to damage us at range, so it's time to fight them at their own game with our own ranged weapon, which is the rifle. Now, to research this rifle, we're going to need some old components and some new ones, the old ones being the steel pipes and the heavy modular frames, which are reasonably complicated, but we still can produce them pretty easily. But we're going to need the circuit boards as well, which are relying on the copper sheeting, something that we have in great mass here, and some plastic, which we are producing at our oil production facility. Now, the ammunition for this, the rifle cartridges, again, taking some things that we've seen before, the black powder and the steel pipes, but also a lot of rubber. Now, why we need rubber to make the rifle cartridges is beyond me. I guess maybe they're rubber bullets, uh, which is fine by me. We don't really need to murder all of the creatures in the environment. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and move forward with our gun once we grab all the resources that we need. It looks like everything's going quite well at the oil refinery. The thing that I was worried about was the electricity. If we look at the coal generators, it looks like they're getting more than enough petroleum coke that they need, and that is because this refinery is getting more than enough of the heavy oil residue that it needs, which means that everything is operating as intended, which is pretty rare for me. <laughs> so if we look at the outputs for some of the early refineries, we can see that we have a lot of plastic here. I'm going to grab a fair amount because I don't know what we're going to need it for in the future, and I don't want to have to come back and forth until we figure out a way to uh, automate the transportation of these materials back to the base. I'm just going to have to run back and forth and grab them manually, but that's okay because we don't have much need just yet. So let's head back to the base and start the research. To research the rifle and the rifle cartridges, we're going to need two components, a lot of gunpowder and a lot of circuit boards. And while they're not difficult to make, they take a long time to make by hand, so I'm setting up a process to make those automatically. On the left here, you can see that we have sulfur and coal going into this assembler to make some black powder. This guy is overclocked to the max. So we can see that he is pumping out some gunpowder for us. Now over here is an assembler which is going to be set up for the circuit boards. This is going to take a little bit longer and I've got all of the components that I need and the quantity that I need. It's just going to be a matter of waiting for these guys to do their job and getting the 100 circuit boards that we need. With 200 gunpowder, I can go into the material analyzer and we can research the rifle cartridges, which is just going to take us three seconds and then we'll take a look at what we need to make these. In the equipment workshop, we can see the recipe for the rifle cartridges, and the only surprise here is that it is requiring some of the beacons, and I don't know why everything requires these, maybe just because it's an interesting intermediate material that makes things difficult on us, but we're going to go ahead and produce as many of these as possible. Unfortunately, we can't use them until we have the gun, though. And with 100 circuit boards and more than enough heavy modular frames, we are going to begin the research for the rifle. Now, the thing that I forgot is that this doesn't actually give us a rifle. It only gives us the opportunity to make one. So we're going to need a lot more resources to actually build a thing once we finally research it. Okay, how is this research for the gun coming along? Looks like it is all done. So let's take a look in the equipment workshop and see what it's going to take to create. So we're going to need some... Oh, this is actually pretty cheap. Okay, armed with all the resources I need, let's take a look at the rifle and let's do this! So 30 ticks! This is by far the most complicated thing I've had to produce in the equipment workshop. And here it is! Oh yeah! Let's pull it out! Ha oh, ha ha! The gun! Looks very industrial, looks kind of like a tool. I like these animations to pull them out. Let's see, what are we going to do with it? Looks like it needs some ammunition first, so let's load it on up with some of the cartridges. Nice. I think we're good to go. So now, just to find some targets, just going to shoot at some rocks first. Make sure I don't uh, take out my electricity network with it. <laughs> All right. Well, I was kind of expecting, hmm, like tracer rounds or like to see something come out. Let's see. Are they like flush hits or something? No, nope, not really any impacts either, but we have, uh, hmm, let's see how many, uh, 10 per mag when we reload. We're just taking up... Oh, God, no! Oh, God, no! <laughs> Each one of these rifle cartridges is one bullet, is one rifle cartridge. Oh, my God, bullets are expensive. <laughs> 
I've made as many rifle cartridges as I can, which right now means we have 100. So let's go ahead and equip the rifle, and then we're going to head out in the Explorer to find some enemies. And I don't know how to phrase this or even rationalize this in my mind, because we're really just going out to test the gun on some animals, which obviously sounds absurd. So we're going to call this a uh, hunting trip to try and grab some alien organs to use those for, I don't know, something useful. Medicine. I don't know. That sounds better, right? Okay, our first hostile. Here he is. Let's make sure that he is going to actually be a threat, and then we'll see how the gun works. Hmm, looks like an entire magazine to take that guy out, which means they're pretty expensive to take out with guns. But at least we have uh, the alien organs, so we can go ahead and craft some more medicinal inhalers with that. But uh, it's cool to have this. We'll see if we can uh, find a bigger enemy. Here's one of the type of guys that likes to charge at us, and they're kind of hard to hit because they do seem to... Oh! Wow, that was pretty good. I wonder if there are headshots, because he went down pretty easily. Okay, we found one of the larger enemies. So we're going to see how this battle goes now that I am upgraded with a gun. That was quick. Gotta find some cover. Oh, man. Made quick work of this guy. Huh. The gun seems to be uh, quite the game changer here. Pretty good. I am liking this gun. Hey, buddy. Oh, he looks mad. Let's see how he likes the gun. Oh, God, no, not enough. <laughs> Reload. Okay, there we go. Whew. He's a little bit tougher than the other guys. Well, I've seemed to have found an island with some wreckage, and there are two enemies here, which really don't... Oh, my God, there's more! <laughs> okay, I'm hoping that I have enough ammunition, because I'm thinking that that big blue spitter is going to be the most powerful enemy that I am facing thus far. So I have very little ammunition left, which is also a concern. So just one mag and then three rounds. Let's try and make them count. Oh! Huh. Did not expect him to go down that quickly. We've got another larger charger here. I'm going to deal with him. Oh gosh, I just have three rounds. Hmm. So we're going to do a, a hybrid tactic here. Ah, get the... <laughs> okay. Cool, we'll dodge that. Oh, this is going to be rough. Hmm. Okay, mister. Oh, okay. Now I need some healing. Oh, look at this more! Oh, God, that was close. Oh, it's a whole squad. Oh, no. Oh, okay, they they charged me to safety. Hmm. I'm going to use this copper ore as cover for a moment. Oh, it seems to be working. Oh, now the tree. All right, cool. <laughs> well, the tree looks just as effective as the gun at this point. Let's see where are those other guys. Are they going to leave me alone? I don't know where they've gone. I might get charged from behind. So let's take a look at what we have here. Ooh, we got a lot of modular frames. Uh, some computers, I think. And anything here we can check out? Ooh, we can just open this. And we've got another hard drive. Awesome. So we're going to have some cool blueprints on there, hopefully. So we have done it. We have gotten the rifle. We have used it to explore some stuff. And we've also expended all of our ammunition in the name of... I'm going to say exploring, <laughs> as opposed to just mindlessly killing everything that we come across. <laughs> but, you know, maybe uh, we're going to say this is the, the ultimate factory defense weapon. It seems to be quite effective, despite how uh, expensive the ammunition is. So, thank you guys for watching this episode. We've got a sweet new weapon, and I uh, hope you stay tuned for the next cool things that we unlock.